Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm Hot Sauce Chunky Tim and the Frito Pepper. Speaking of peppers, today's show is going to be a quick update on the 2021 pepper grow season. Uh, this is my third year of attempting to grow super hots and I'm learning as I go. Um, so I'll give you a quick video on what I got growing this year. Um, <clears throat> some of the plants I bought from the stores, which you can tell by the tags, but most of them I grew uh, straight from seed. The first one here is going to be a habanero, and I got this plant, there's actually four of them in there. I got these little guys about two weeks ago. Um, up here in Wisconsin, we were dealing with quite a drought. Uh, I said a couple weeks ago, we were about 10 inches behind or below where we should be. Um, since then, we have been getting pounded and pounded with storms. And uh, the heat index state is supposed to be 102. So um, thanks to all the rain and the high heat, these plants are really starting to take off. So that's a habanero there. Next up here is my reaper plant. Um, got these plants from David Foy from Blazing Foods. Um, as you can see, got a little reaper going right there. And the cool thing about this, these three plants, guys, is actually I was able to keep them alive during the winter months. Uh, you know as well as I do in Wisconsin, uh, winter is very, very cold. Um, some of the plants survived, most of them died, but these, there's actually three of them in there, and they survived. Uh, next up here is Bortrix. Uh, these were seeds that I got uh, two years ago, and as you can see, they're successfully still growing plants, which is cool. Next up here is the Chocolate Primatale. I uh, got some floor buds going there. The this well, I should say these seeds are compliments of Jimmy Pickles. We all know Jimmy Pickles, isolated seed seller. Check them out. As you can see, um, this plant is doing very, very well. So thank you, Jimmy. All right, next up here we got the ghost pepper plant. As you can see from the tag, bought this at the store as a little guy. He's doing very well. As you can see, the plants. We got a bug flying by me. As you can see by the. Uh, fruits right there it's doing very well next up here is the hurt berry <clears throat> I don't see any buds on this as of yet but the plant itself is doing quite well next up is the seven pot slimer I just transferred this plant from a little uh, pot to a bigger one so it's kind of in shock right now so hopefully it survives the shock all right, next up is the CPR Red. Uh, looks like we got some buds starting right here, which is pretty cool. Again, this plant is growing straight from seed and is doing very well. <clears throat> next up here is the Primo Tally. Again, this is from Jimmy Pickles. Um, again, this one was just transferred today from a medium-sized plant to a big plant, so it's in shock right now, but this little guy will be all right. Again, that was growing straight from seed from Jimmy Pickles. So again, thank you, Jimmy. All right, next up here is a habanero plant. Uh, you can tell by the tag, I bought this one at the store and it's doing very well. You can see all the fruits on there. Next up is the peach reaper. Uh, these are going from seed. These seeds, um, I can't remember where I got these seeds from. Off the top of my head, I wanna say the wrong name. Um, but regardless, it's doing very well. Uh, you can see one fruit right there growing, which is good. Again, guys, since we've had this, these storms and this high humidity, these plants have just skyrocketed in size. All right, now speaking of keeping plants alive, this plant here was one that I was able to su successfully keep alive from last year. I believe this is a big black mama plant. Um, I got some buds going on here. I thought there was, yeah, you can kind of see some of the fruits inside there. Um, the tag faded away, so but I do believe this is a big black mama, and I thought it was oh here we go, that's what I'm talking about. See it right there. Zoom out. Kind of got a glare here with the sun. There we go. So I think that's a big black mama. All right, next up is the Trinidad scorpion plant. You can again tell by the tag this one was bought from the store. Um, this one is well as doing good as well as you can see got a nice pod right there growing <clears throat> Next up is the MRMX 7 pot red 
This was seeds from Jimmy Pickles once again, growing straight from seed. As you can see, we got some floral buds kicking in there. Lots of little buds. There's a fruit right there, if you can see. See the pod growing right there. There we go. Get out of the way, leaf. So that is the MRFX 7 Pot Red. Top of the Jimmy Pickles. All right, next up here is the Jigsaw. These seeds, again, were from uh, last year. Um, no pods yet, but we got some floor buds, which is good. I'll be interested to see what happens a week from now with this humidity. But, uh, oh, sure enough, check that out. Here we go. I guess we do have some. Sweet. I tell you, sometimes these pods, they, they come out of nowhere. All right, next up is the yellow scotch bonnet. I'll say it once again for Jimmy Pickles. Again, growing straight from seed. So you can see the plant's doing awesome. I don't see any pods as of yet, but uh, I do see a little bit of bud action right there. Kind of see there. So I'm guessing within a week, I'll have some pods growing on this thing here. All right, next up is the Frankenstein. These seeds, again, were saved from last year. Um, looks like we got a little something something going on right about here. So again, we'll see what happens a week from now because we got a lot of a lot of buds going on right there, which is cool. <clears throat> Alright, next up is another plant I was able to keep alive during the winter months. Did very well. Survived the uh, infamous aphids infestation that took away a lot of my plants, but this this one survived. Um, I do believe this is a habanero plant. Um, again, the tag faded. So I'm going to wait and see what it is. Uh, maybe you guys help me out. What do you guys think that looks like there? I might be wrong. Again, this one could be a big black mama too for all I know. So if you guys help me out, my pepper people, appreciate it. All right. Lastly, for my super hots here is going to be the Bleeding Borg 9. This thing is just doing awesome. Look at all those pods growing. So cool. Look at that one. This guy's awesome down there. It's a bleeding Borg 9. <clears throat> Other than that, we have some milder pepper plants here. Uh, got the Poblano. It's for the wife. For making whatever she wants to make. That thing's really got huge. We got a couple pods right there. You can see here. So they're coming in. Um, other than that, uh, we have our regular garden down here. Flowers and flowers and flowers. These we got to transplant into, or transplant them into the ground here eventually. They were really tiny little plants we bought at the store. They actually were giving them away, so we took them and they're taking off pretty well. Here we got our snap peas, our dill. And lastly, just your basic, um, Gardening vegetables, you got your tomatoes. Um, <clears throat> I just moved this one into the ground here. This is a banana pepper plant, so we'll see how that one does. It's kind of in shock right now. But uh, I do see a bud right here. So it's getting there. Um, then we got squash, we got some watermelon. Make sure going watermelon for the first time. So that one right there looks pretty cool. Squash. Um, lastly, here. This is another poblano plant, which has already uh, kicked out a couple of peppers already. So, there you have it, guys. That is the 2021 20, pepper slash garden hot sauce Chucky Tim and the wife. So, hopefully, we get some awesome peppers and uh, I can send some out to you guys with those of you that are interested. Um, however, with the Jimmy Pickle plants, um, I will not be sending out the pods. Um, with him I would not give away his seeds so we'll see what happens so enjoy your summer guys talk to you later